There is something so visually heartbreaking about seeing a player still in pads and uniform at the podium. Oh. Like, he doesn't even care. He has all the time in the world now to change and get back into his street clothes. Peter, uh, Bills lose last night. That's the third year in a row they've lost in the divisional round. Yeah, they're not in the AFC Championship game again. Yeah. Um, you know, last night on the CBS show, Nate Burleson, our former colleague, was like, you know, don't blame Tyler Bass. There was a million other players. Mm -hmm. I, you can blame Tyler Bass. You can blame all the people who made mistakes. You can blame all the players. At some point, you have to rise above. You have to find a way to make Tyler Bass, as much as he is, is going to be you know, treated in Buffalo for the rest of his career for missing that thing, is one of the best kickers in the league. Mm -hmm. Make the kick. Um, you look at Josh Allen there, and he's epic and unbelievable and played an amazing game. There were plays at the end there where instead of taking the underneath to Diggs, which is what Romo was talking mm -hmm. about, he was going for the home run shot. Fine. Got to make the plays there. I, I go back to this fake punt. This fake punt call. Get into it. Could be yeah. the greatest play in the history of Buffalo this is sports. high drama. You look at this. We're freezing it here. Those are only nine players for the Chiefs. Williams, number two, was off with an injury. They are man down. There's a deep man returning. They have nine guys on the field, meaning Buffalo sees it. We could get over. So what do they do with it? Well, we get this, and it's Damar Hamlin, who is not an offensive player, who has never handled the ball for Buffalo, and he's short the first down. And you see plays like that, and it's like, has that, if that goes a different way, are we talking about the Bills this morning? And yes, I know, the very next possession, the Chiefs fumble the ball through the end zone, and it actually ends up not being the one that's the backbreaker. But when you have a punter who's injured, Sam Martin, out there, and he's, it's not his best day, yeah. and you've got a kicker who's supposed to be epic in those weather conditions, and just happens to miss it. And then you have a fake punt that doesn't convert. McDermott's right. The offense was awesome last night. The special teams and the defense let them down, and that's heartbreaking because you need all three facets, at least two of the three facets, if you are going to beat the, the Kansas City Chiefs in a game like that. They didn't make enough plays. It's just mm -hmm. it's down to that. They have a player of mass destruction in 17 running around doing the best he can. They didn't pick him up. I think there's two specific times when they literally dropped the ball that just killed you. So they didn't have any zero plays of 20 yards. It's been talked about a lot. The Bills didn't have a single play that went 20 yards. This one kills you. All right, this is this is the Trent Sherfield who is playing the Gabe Davis role. I get it. It's a tough catch, but it's, it's the playoffs. Make that catch. The Bills punt it on the next play. That's enough, all right? But then this one. This is fourth quarter, playoff game at home. Josh Allen's going to throw one about 700 yards oh. on a first and 10. Woo! And I got my star wide out, and I nail the throw. And, and Dix drops it. Diggs drops it. So, guys, I mean, Stephon Diggs needs to make that catch, and he doesn't need a lecture from me or anybody. He knows that. But, like, goddamn. Mm. Make that catch. That was the drive. That was the final drive in which they ended up missing the field goal. Like, that is why you're I, – I, I'm incredibly frustrating watching him drop that ball because he's such a good player, and he's right there, and Allen makes the throw, and it's just like that's, that's why you're not there. That's the difference between – uh, winning and losing. That's the difference between Bill and Chief. Like, you you got to make that mm. play. And it's just like, there's this feeling now of the Bills of, again, if not now, yes. when? When? We, we lost again? And we missed another kick and our wide receiver dropped a pass? Like, what are we supposed to do? You know, on a personal note, I, you know, I get a lot of notes from people over the weekend about, like, you know, you had a lot to say when the Cowboys lost. And the same phrase that all those lemmings use, keep that same energy now about the Bills. There's a lot in common, for sure, in the sense that we just keep doing this over and over. I think that the, the Bills' problem is much more specific, is that this is the third time they've lost to the Chiefs in the playoffs. The Cowboys lose to everybody. I'm talking about the Chiefs. And it's like, what are they supposed to do differently? And I, I always feel this, like the Chiefs have been to six title games. Six. The Bills have been to one. And it starts to feel to me... Look, I, I always go back to the 90s, and it's appropriate for the Bills to go back to the yeah. 90s. Listen, Patrick Ewing and Charles Barkley and Carl Malone were amazing players, all-time Hall of Famers, and they just couldn't get it done because they run into 23, and that'd be it. And it's like sometimes they would win MVP, and they'd have great season, they'd get to the finals, just says, sorry, you play in the wrong era. And it starts to feel that way, that, like, is this just the wrong era? If Josh Allen had shown up five years earlier than he did – or maybe five years later than he did, was it just in the wrong era that they can't beat this Chiefs team because you got him at home and the offense wasn't what it's been in the past years and you still lost. And so it's like, 
Well, you look at the head coach. Like, if everybody says, why do the Cowboys bring McCarthy back? Why do you bring McDermott back? You look at him, sure, definitely, because something has to change, or we're going to be doing the same conversation next year. You can't do nothing, or you're going to lose again next year to the Chiefs, and I don't know what to Let say about Let me ask it. you, if Lamar beats Mahomes, is that an indictment on Josh Allen that he can't, but that, hey, Lamar did it, someone else did it, Burrow did it, it gets, these other gets guys so have in done the weeds it. That, like, what did Josh Allen, what was he supposed to do yesterday? You know, like, if you really look at that game and you show those drops and you show how he ran, you show he, he didn't have a huge statistical game, but, like, he didn't throw a dumb pick, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. he had a fumble and he was saved. So, like, it's, it's, it's much more nuanced than, like, Josh can't beat Mahomes. It's like the Bills can't, can't beat, beat the yeah. Chiefs, and they're not going away. Mm. There was a play for Josh Allen that, and you mentioned it when you said he could have hit Diggs underneath, that he probably wished he could have back. And that was the one throw where we had Shakira in the end zone, and it just fell short as Chris Jones was bearing down on him. And Deion Dawkins is trying to make that block. And Romo said on the broadcast that he's going to want this one back. And I don't think he should have threw the ball to Stephon Diggs because Go Khalil Shakira is wide open in the end zone. Then this was obviously the bass missed field goal. You like the, the choice? After. I like the choice. You're Josh Allen, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Why am I – I don't want to protect a field goal because you just mentioned it when you said Mahomes would have had a minute and 43 left. A lot of time. I'm going to score. I want to put him in a position where now he has to go out and score a touchdown to beat me. And when you draw up a play and it hits and a guy's open in the end zone, you go for it. You don't just check the ball down because it's just like, well, this is a safer throw, and that's not who Josh Allen is. And to your point, he played so good, minus the fumble, but he didn't. He avoided the major mistake in that game. And I take what you said as you look at this Buffalo Bills team, and this year felt different because Buffalo wasn't riding high all season. They were at a point where they had to rattle off a mm -hmm. bunch of wins to even make it into the playoffs, and it felt like this was their year to beat Kansas yeah. City and to go on and knock them off and all of that. And it didn't happen. So you do have to go back to the drawing board. And if you keep just bringing it back, bringing it back, you keep getting to the same point, you have to make a change. And I look at this season for them, and you mentioned the Stephon Diggs drop at the end of the game. Stephon Diggs went 13 straight games with averaging less than 50 yards receiving. Something went wrong with yeah. that connection for those two guys. And you mentioned it last week. Kelsey and Mahomes, it was the same thing. Uh -huh. We had talked about Kelsey hadn't scored a touchdown since week 11. Well, they needed and all all, all Get to the divisional round. Go you time. need Travis Kelsey. He's scoring two touchdowns early in that game. Two big plays in the air, 20-plus yards, and it didn't happen. And you saw early on in that game Brady, Joe Brady, trying to get the ball to Diggs, a handoff, quick screens, trying to find ways. Yeah. He ended up with three catches for 21 yards, and he is their best player on that team other than Josh Allen, and they couldn't get him going. Mm -hmm. I think I read Travis Kelsey has played the fewest offensive snaps this year than he has his whole career, yet when he needed to step up, those are, Kyle, those are three hero moments that you missed out on. The DeMar Hamlin punt conversion, mm -hmm. Shakir, and the Steph Diggs drop. You have a hero that you're going up against on the other side of Patrick Mahomes. Like, you need somebody to strike when the heroic moment, I might put Tyler Bass on that list because that was just a tie. If it was a go-ahead, that'd be different. Three heroic moments that you could have changed the tenor of the night and you're unable to capitalize, that's not a good look. It's not one. It's three opportunities that you could have changed the way this game went.